Hello everyone, Monique again with my second tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to build a brick wall and then shatter it by throwing an object against it. So first things first, I'm going to add a floor. We're going to right click on our floor, go to simulation tags, and we're going to add a collider body. And what this does is it has the object float and not fall down. And when another object hits it, it will actually collide with it and not just pass through it. So collider body. Then we're going to add a cube. We're going to change the values right over here. We're going to change X to 20, I to 20, and the Z to 60. It's pretty useful to write these down, or uh, if you follow along with me, then just uh, you don't have to, but normally I advise you to always write these things down just for other purposes. So we're going to move the brick up a bit, like that. And to make things a little bit easier for myself, I'm going to rename it, click on it, hit enter, type in brick. So, uh, another thing we have to do is right click it, go to simulation tags, and add a rigid body so that when we throw an object at it, it will actually detect it and hit it and not pass through it again. So, a rigid body. And to change a few things that make it a bit more realistic, we're gonna change the bounce to. 10 because a stone brick doesn't really bounce much and we're going to change the friction to something like 80 so it doesn't drag too much along the floor again so now we've done that we're gonna have to build the wall and what you can do is copy it and staple it on each other and next to each other but there's a much easier and faster way and that is by using a cloner we can find the cloner at MoGraph cloner and we're gonna have to drag the brick right under it. So as you can see now, it copies it in the y-axis, which we don't want for now. So we're gonna click on cloner. We're gonna change the i here to zero. And the z, we have to fill in the number of the brick. I told you to remember or write down. So it is 60 in our case. And just moving it up a bit. What this does now is puts the bricks right next to each other with no space between it so that's pretty much perfect and of course we want a bit more so I'm going to add at count about 8 bricks of course you can add more if your computer or laptop can handle it but in my case or our case we're gonna add 8 so now we've done that we want it to build it up again so we're gonna click on a cloner we're gonna make it editable by pressing C like this and what it does now it puts all the bricks apart so uh, to build it up again we're gonna add another cloner which you can find under MoGraph we're gonna drag our cloner right under it and as you can see it does it but still not very nicely so we're gonna click on cloner again and here we're gonna fill in the other value which is 20 oops 20 so as you can see no space in between we're gonna have to move it up a bit like this so now that oh yeah, we have to I want it to be a bit higher than this so I'm going to add 7 again you can add as how much you want but uh, as long as your computer can handle it so now we've done that we're done building our brick wall as you can see and now we're going to have to launch something against it so I'm going to use a sphere, which I'm going to scale down a bit, because this is obviously way too big. So something like this. Uh, what we can do is add a keyframe and then just keyframe to the other side, which some people would do, I think. But I found a much better way. That is by, um, yeah, of course, we have to right click, go to simulation tags and add a rigid body. And we're going to go to custom initial velocity and check it. And what this gives us now is these three boxes. And what this does is if I fill in here minus 1000, it will launch it right there. And if I put a higher number like 2000, it will launch it even harder. So now we've done that, we're going to play it. And as you can see, it shatters the brick wall quite nicely. It's all dynamic, so we can move it here, uh, maybe make it go harder, and press play again. And as you can see, it shatters the brick wall very nicely and accurately. 
So this is a pretty fun thing to do. You can mess around a lot with it. You can uh, add another. Yeah, we're gonna just add a cube. I'm gonna move it up here. We're gonna right click, simulation text, switch body, and just watch it smash it poof, like that. So you can find a lot of fun ways to destroy brick wall, or and you can of course use it for um, your own projects or intros or whatever. So this pretty much concludes our tutorial. I hope you learned something new for it and found it useful. Um, leave um, something in the comments, leave a like, and see you next time. Goodbye.